What is good, beautiful people? Hope you're having a great week so far. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're killing it, crushing it, getting after whatever goals you're getting after. So I wanted to hop on here super quick to speak my mind a little bit and some things that have been on my mind because I think it could help. So I want to speak a little bit on facing negativity and how champions see the world. So here goes nothing. So we all put ourselves in vulnerable places when we put our lives online. With that comes positive reinforcement as well as constructive criticism. And for me personally, I always want to use these platforms for positivity, optimism, and happiness. However, today I want to speak on the negative side for a brief moment because it's important to understand how to best handle it when you receive it and how I've gone about handling it. When you receive negativity in real life, or online for that matter, you may think the criticism is actually you especially when you read negative comments online, because no one is physically in front of you imparting their words onto you. Your conscious is quite literally reading them to yourself in your own head. It's as if you're telling yourself it. Thus, you create a bad relationship with yourself inside your head, inside your heart. And it slows us down, it makes us question ourselves, it squashes our confidence, you know, and for most people, it makes them give up. And if you can become someone that can transfer negativity into, pro into productive action, you are literally unstoppable by outside circumstances and outside elements. The only person that can stop you is you. And so there's two things that I try and personally remind myself anytime that I receive any kind of negative feedback or criticism for putting myself or my life online. And so the first one is that the reason people project negativity, criticism, discouragement onto you is because they couldn't do that. They couldn't do whatever you're doing themselves. It has nothing to do with your own capabilities, what you are possibly capable of. And oftentimes this may come from the people that you care the most about. And that's why it hurts. Sometimes it hurts deep down because they weren't able to execute on what they wanted in their dreams. They don't think that is the normal way to do things. The normal way to live life. And we all look at life through our own perspective, through our own glasses and their glasses say those dreams are for other people. They may say, I couldn't do it, and neither can you, because you come from the same place that I come from. We're cut from the same cloth, so to speak. How people treat others is a direct reflection on how they feel inside about themselves. So how do you deal with that? It's simple, use it as an opportunity. Something I call a production pivot. When you're reminded of something you need to do or are given negativity towards an area that you know needs to be addressed, you immediately take action towards what needs to be fixed. When people tell me stuff that is negative, I take however I'm feeling, whatever the, whether it's frustration or pain, you know, if I feel it, and immediately address what needs to be fixed. It hurts because it's true. If it wasn't true, it wouldn't hurt you. Number two, embrace test days. This has to do with things not going the right way. See these days as an opportunity to do better, get stronger, develop perseverance, grit, fortitude qualities that you know, are needed to be successful. You look at it as an opportunity to make a deposit into your skill set that will serve you long term, such as mental toughness, which embodies self-belief, self-confidence, fortitude, grit, perseverance, the ability to endure. Bad days are a gift because you get to test yourself. And when you pass the test, you get through the day. It's a deposit into your mental psyche. You know, nobody is gifted with mental toughness, confidence, as I've mentioned before. You know, they're not character traits. They are perishable skills, meaning if you don't invest in them, they will go away. And if you, if you do invest in them, they get stronger, just like your arms, just like your legs, and your mind is no different. Remind yourself that it is an opportunity to grow, to find out what you are truly made of. This is how champions see the world. Everybody faces negativity. When you go against the cultural norm of average, you will naturally have resistance. Negativity is an opportunity to get stronger. That energy source is unlimited, especially in today's world. And when you translate that energy, this energy into productivity and embrace those test days, you are unstoppable. Absolutely nothing is stopping you. So my inspiration for this one was listening to a podcast. Um, as I've drawn inspiration from before, from just listening to some other podcasts here and there uh, called Really F by Andy Frisello. Um, Absolutely loving that podcast. So just trying to translate, you know, put my two cents on, you know, certain episodes that I've listened to. So that's where I drew my inspiration from this one or for this one. So 
Yeah. Everyone has, everyone faces negativity. Um, everyone let it impact, lets it impact them in different ways for different reasons, where, wherever they're at in their lives. Um, so you know, really embracing that negativity. And like I, like I mentioned, that energy source, everything is just energy, right? That energy source, that negative energy source, you can translate it into anything, right? You can translate it into, you know, becoming a negative person, becoming, you know, believing that whatever people are saying to you is really you, is really who you are. In my two cents, um, for anyone that's trying to impart negativity, um, discouragement, pessimism onto you, just remind yourself to deploy empathy for them. You know, if I understand and I know me as a person, as an individual, that I'm in a good place, I'm positive, I'm happy, I love my life, I love where I'm at in my life, there's not a shot in hell that I'm going to leave a negative comment on someone else's page. I'm not gonna take that time out of my day to go try and ruin someone else's day. There's no way in hell, I, even if someone did the worst and egregious thing to me, there's no way I'm gonna do that. Um, so just understand that if you're, if you're good inside with where you're at with your life, that that's you know, how you treat people is a direct reflection of how you feel inside about yourself. So do not let, so misery loves company, negativity loves company. Do not join in that energy. That energy is malleable. Use it for good. Production. Use it for productive action. So anytime anyone imparts it onto you, deploy empathy. Maybe even ask if there's anything you can do for them because it kind of shows a place from where they're coming from. It is not you. Do not buy into that. Do not believe that. Do not crumble from that. I want to say that you guys are the best. You know, positivity, happiness, hard work, discipline, focus, optimism, all of these qualities translate into a good life. So remind yourself of that. Do not let any criticism bring you down. Translate that energy into productive action, production pivot, use it for good, and good things will come. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to listen to what I have to say. I hope it helped just a little. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you soon. Peace.